Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at the Azure Roles Cheat Sheet. And when we say Azure Roles Cheat Sheet, we're actually talking about all the roles, not just the Azure roles, okay? Because there's three types. You've got the classic subscription administrator roles. You have Azure Roles, which is also known as role-based access controls uh, that's built on top of ARM. And then you have Azure Active Directory roles, okay? Uh, so you need to know the difference between the three. When we're talking about Identity Access Management, IAM, that allows you to create and assign um, Azure roles to users. Roles restrict access to resource actions, also known as operations. There's two types of roles. You got built-in roles, managed, uh, managed Microsoft roles, are, are re read-only pre-created roles for you to use. And then you have custom roles, a role created by you with your own custom logic. For a role assignment is when you apply a role to a user and a role assignment is composed of a security principle, role definition, and scope. Azure's four built-in roles are owner, contributor, reader, and user access administrator. I don't have the table here, but you should know the difference between them, but usually they're pretty self-explanatory based on their name. For classic administrators, we have three types of roles. We got account administrator, service administrator, and co-administrator. For important Azure AD roles you need to remember, you have global administrator, user administrator, billing administrator, and on the exam, you might even see more kinds there. So I would encourage you to go look up all the different kinds, uh, or I might end up making a video going in more in depth for some of them in this course. You can create custom uh, Azure AD roles, but you're gonna need that P1 or P2. So there you go, that's Azure roles.